This is a quick look at the Multicam MG CNC router. This is a 4x8 table and I've just turned the power on on the, on the main power switch. Once the power is on, the keypad should look like this. We're simply going to index the machine by hitting the shift key and the upper left key, which is the go home key. First thing it does is find home in the z-axis, and the machine will move towards us in both the y and the x-axis. Once that process is complete, there's really only a couple of steps that we need to do in order to get this machine ready to run parts. First step is the warm up. We always want to run a daily warm up. I'll go ahead and hit enter for warm up. Now you hear the 16 horsepower Colombo spindle is now warming up. It's a very nice spindle, and as you can tell, I can talk over it without any problem. For sake of video time, we'll go ahead and cancel this warm up. And we'll go ahead and show you what's necessary in order to get this machine ready to run. First step we need to do is jog the machine. I use the jog commands. As you can see, I'm moving the machine in both X and Y. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set surface. What that means is we're going to take the multicam automatic tool touch-off device. We're going to place it on the bed of the machine. And we're going to measure this tool length so the machine knows exactly where our material is. And this is very easy to do with Multicam's automatic tool touch-off system. I'm simply going to bring the machine down towards the touch-off device. And then once I get close, I'm going to let the machine do the rest. So from the keypad, I'll simply hit the set surface icon, which is right here. And as you can read on the keypad, it says setting surface zero to auto set. I'm going to hit zero. And I'll quickly come over here for a closer look. The machine is very quiet as it moves slowly down towards the tool touch-off device. And when it gets there, it should retract automatically. That tool length is now saved in memory, and the machine has been calibrated. Simply put this back on top, and now we're ready for the next setup. The next thing I want to do is set a home position. That'll give a reference for the corner of my material. Now the nice thing is Multicam again saves up to nine programmable homes. So in order to call up my home location, I'll simply hit the house button on the bottom, and then I'll hit number one. That'll bring up position number one. And if I look at the machine, the machine moves automatically to the corner of my material. At this point, my machine is set up and ready to run. What we're looking at now is a preview of the program that I'm about to run on the Multicam CNC. We happen to be using the latest version of NROUTE 4. If you don't already have software, we'd be happy to talk to you about the correct software for your exact application. But with my software programmed, I simply can come over to my machine, and I'll show you just how simple it is to execute a program on the Multicam MG. All we need to do is go back to our handheld keypad, and I'm going to look at this icon right in the lower left it shows a little picture of a router table wired to a PC. Let me go ahead and select that button. You'll see it loads a particular set of folders that are on my hard drive. And I'll simply scroll down the folders until I find the Protec folder, which is the one I'm looking for. With that folder highlighted, I simply hit Enter. And now I can see I've got one file in there called Circle Squares. That was the one that's set up over here on my computer, and I'm simply going to choose that one to run it now. Hit start. It'll validate the job and say it's ready to go. And then it's telling me to insert the correct tool for that particular job. Since that tool is already inserted, I'll go ahead and hit start. And the machine should start up. This machine is currently programmed to run at 475 inches a minute for this program. The machine is capable of rapid speeds up to 1,000 inches per minute. We're now 
now doing a circle. And as you can see, the machine will now park itself in the back when the program is finished, and I'm ready to remove the parts. It's that simple. In fact, I can even go into the menu on the Multicam keypad, and I can go to Utilities, and then I can go down to Job Time. It'll tell me exactly how long the last job took, 1 minute and 15 seconds. This has been a quick overview of how to execute a file on the Multicam MG. CNC As you can see, this is a bridge and rail system. Uh, runs on a rack and pinion in the x-axis and a ball screw on the y-axis. Kind of look over, it's dual motors on both sides of the machine, a very rigid all-steel construction machine. And as you can see some of the samples here, everything you see here has been created with our NROUTE software program on a Multicam CNC router. The machine comes with lots of the original documentation, including brochures and literature, which you'll find in this book here, including the original owner's manual. Now with the machine off, we can take a quick look inside the control cabinet of this Multicam MG-103. It's a very clean control cabinet, all servo drives. For X, Y, and Z. And as you can see, it has a large inverter for the 16 horsepower spindle. All multicams use high quality components and parts. And this is just a quick look at the internal workings of the multicam MG 103.